Hey everyone, welcome to Storytime. My name's Josh. Today, we're going to be reading Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. We've read all of the other Star Wars stories prior to this, and a couple of other ones as well, some of the new ones like Episode 7 and 8. This one is a great, 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 great movie. If you've ever seen it, yeah, some, some yes, some no. Well, I'm looking forward to reading this story. Get comfortable if you aren't already because it's about to be story time. If you enjoy these stories, please subscribe. Click that bell below. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, adapted by Jeff Smith, illustrated by Chris Kennett. Oh, look here. This is going to be cool. That's Luke and Darth Vader. Lightsabers colliding. Let's find out what happens in this story. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It is a dangerous time for the Rebel Alliance. After destroying the Death Star, they're on the run from the evil Imperial forces. Princess Leia has led the Rebels to a secret base on Hoth, a snowy ice planet. Luke Skywalker rides his Tauntaun across the frozen wasteland on the lookout for bad guys. An angry snow creature called a Wampa attacks. Luke fights the beast with his lightsaber. Roar. As he escapes, Luke has a vision of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan tells him to go to the planet Dagobah and find a great Jedi master named Yoda. Not far from the base, Han Solo and Chewbacca spot an Imperial probe droid hunting for the rebels. Boom. Han shoots the droid with his blaster. The droid is destroyed. But Han knows it has signaled to the Empire with the location of their hideout. Uh-oh, that's no good. The Imperial forces have found the rebel base. Thump, thump, thump. Their giant AT-AT walkers march across the snow. That's them now. But don't worry, they're tangling it up and they make it trip over. Zoom, Rebel Snow speeders fight the hulking machines. Lasers have no effect, but Luke trips an AT, at with his speeder's tow cable. That's Luke there. He's got the cable wrapped around its legs. Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and C-3PO race to the Millennium Falcon. But the ship won't start. Would it help if I got out and pushed? Leia asks. Funny. Luckily, the Falcon zooms away just as Darth Vader and his stormtroopers overrun the base. So they escape just in time. And look who's there. Who's that? Darth Vader. That's right. Luke and R2-D2 escape too. They set off for the planet Dagobah and crash land in a swamp. Luke finds Yoda and asks the powerful Jedi Master to train him in the ways of the Force. Luke's training is difficult. He runs and jumps and swings on vines, all with Yoda on his back. Suddenly, Luke's X-Wing fighter begins sinking into the swamp. He tries to raise it with the power of the Force, but can't. It's too big. Yoda is disappointed. He needs to train more. Practice makes perfect. And he'll be able to harness the power of the Force better. The little green Jedi Master closes his eyes and points his claw and raises Luke's X-Wing using the Force. Size matters not, Yoda says. Even small little Yoda has a very strong, powerful connection to the Force, and he uses it to raise the X-Wing out of the swamp. Awesome. Meanwhile, the Millennium Falcon is being chased by Imperial Star Destroyers. Han Solo has a plan to escape. He flies into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, Han says. There he goes, flying in there. The giant Imperial Star Destroyers can't follow the Millennium Falcon, but the smaller TIE Fighters can. They swoop and swerve and finally crash into the flying rocks. The Falcon hides in an asteroid. Strange creatures attack the ship. The Millennium Falcon escapes before it's eaten by a giant space slug. So what they've done is they've flown into this little crater 
And little do they know, they've flown into the mouth of that giant space slug. It's when he's, if you've ever seen the movie, Han Solo's in there and he has his, his blaster out and he shoots the floor and he's like, wait a minute, something's not right. Because he shoots the floor and it all rumbles because he's shooting the inside of this giant slug's mouth. Determined to catch the rebels, Darth Vader hires bounty hunters to find them. The bounty hunters are cruel and in a dangerous bunch. The most dreaded hunter is the ruthless Boba Fett. And you might remember Boba Fett. His dad was Jango Fett, the other bounty hunter. Boba Fett's a very, very, very powerful bounty hunter. You think they got to watch out for him. Hey, yep. Han Solo flies the Millennium Falcon to the cloud city of Bespin. He hopes his old friend, Lando Calrissian, can help them. Han doesn't know that they're being followed by Boba Fett. And tracking them down. It's the ship there. Boba Fett's in there, and that's the Millennium Falcon. Lando. Lando and Han Solo go way, way, way back. Old friends. Lando gives Han and his friends a warm welcome, but something isn't right. Darth Vader and Boba Fett are waiting for them. Uh-oh. It's a trap. It's a trap. Across the galaxy on Dagobah, Luke feels a disturbance in the Force. He knows Han Solo and Princess Leia are in trouble. Yoda tells Luke that he's not ready to face Darth Vader alone. But Luke knows he must help his friends. Tough decision. Yoda's a bit nervous, but Luke's got to go. Him and R2-D2. Jump in the X-Wing. Fly away. Back on Bespin, Han Solo is frozen in carbonite. Whoosh! Boba Fett claims his prize as Darth Vader sets a trap for Luke Skywalker. Luke arrives on Bespin and faces Darth Vader. Zip! Slash! Their lightsabers sizzle as the battle begins. The Dark Lord wants Luke to join the Empire and the dark side of the Force. Never! Luke cries. Epic battle. It's like on the front cover. Before defeating the young Jedi, Darth Vader reveals a terrible secret. Maybe some of you know this line already. He says, Luke, I am your father. Oh, he announces, join me and together we can rule the galaxy. Oh, that's a big reveal. Whoa, isn't that crazy? Luke would be like, what? But instead he's like, no! Shouts Luke. He leaps into a deep tunnel and falls down, 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 out of Bespin. Luke clings to a weather vane underneath Bespin. He uses the force to call Princess Leia for help. He sends messages from his mind. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Meanwhile, Lando helps Leia, Chewbacca, and the droids make a daring escape on the Millennium Falcon. They quickly save Luke and flee the Cloud City. Luke and his friends rejoin the Rebels. They're safe for now. But they know they must save Han Solo from Boba Fett and defeat the evil Darth Vader. So Han Solo, still trapped in carbonite. And they've got to go and still get in touch with uh, Jabba the Hutt. And they've still obviously got to defeat Darth Vader because he's out there to destroy the Jedi. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for reading Star Wars with me. This is uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Next, we've got Return of the Jedi. Looking forward to reading that one. All right. If you enjoy reading these stories, please subscribe. Click that bell below. Bye for now, but not forever. See you for another story soon.